So finally I got my mill up and running and what I wanted to show you now is uh, how to adjust the gibbs on the in-out feed on the travel and also on the table longitude no turn travel. Um, the spec says for this mill that the table and these uh, gibbs shall be adjusted so that you have a call it slack of five hundredths of a millimeter and the way to adjust the travel is to snug up the gibbs uh, mount the travel indicator on the saddle piece in between the table and the knee so that you can use this as the reference towards either the table and the knee while measuring with a with an indicator and then you move the table and or the uh, the saddle i mean you can start off with the table first and then you can uh, lock down this and then you can move the whole assembly and then adjust this one afterwards then you adjust so that you have five millimeters sorry five hundredths of a millimeter travel well, measuring from this to this and from this to this a little bit back and forth like this push it and then see if it's within spec I now have adjusted uh, the gibbs tighter and I think that's closer to what was the intention uh, to be within one hundredths on, uh, sorry one thousandth of an inch or two hundredths of a millimeter. Uh, the initial what I thought to be the correct uh, slope five hundred millimeter will be for the axial setting which I will explain later. Now, as you can see, I am closer. I'm pushing. I will get less movement, about two hundredths of a millimeter. And when adjusting the in out ways, which I have done by setting the or bridging between the saddle and the knee there I have tightened down the longitudinal stops so that the table is locked in that direction and instead have the this stop open so now when I move on to to measure the longitudinal way, the gib, I will lock this tight and having this open, making sure that uh, this is open, like that. And I will of course now, when I measure the longitudinal ways, the gib, adjust this, I will bridge between the saddle and the table, like that, just turning it around like that and can move you closer, adjusting to zero, here, so, like that, and I will repeat the procedure, so I will push the table as you can see it's tighter so I have around two hundredths of a meter millimeter play or less than one thousandths of an inch and of course what was referred to as the axial spiel or axial play or
would be the actual direction of course that is I guess uh, some of the slop in the, in the knot the, the, the half knots which grips the, um, the rod uh, and the end adjustments which on this side is with a knot a fine threaded uh, knot here that you can uh, move this closer to one another and then to test this as you see I have placed uh, the indicator between the bracket for the DRO and to the saddle or actually to the knee this is because it's not so uh, important this is in that direction so it shan't have any side play anyway I will then adjust this now with it not like that so I get to zero and then of course I've taken up the slope in that direction move the screw and not like that then if I push on this you see I had uh, six hundreds so a little bit too much this means I have to adjust this a little bit tighter so I'll do that and then repeat the measurement so now I've done that adjusted this knot tighter now I'll also then lock it in that I'll, I'll put this little bit glue on that later or thread lock and now if I uh, move it uh, so you can watch the indicator I will zero the indicator again like that so we can even take a full revolution so we are certain that we have taken up all the slop and now we move it you see The maximum slope is then 500, which is per specs. Okay, thank you.